Hello, this is Tom Butts with Accelerated in Tampa, Florida, and today what we're going to do is unbox and install an AT&T U110 VPN device. Let's unbox it. Standard power cord. Inside the little white box is a power supply. Nice. This is the device itself, and you'll notice on the back, and we'll zoom in on this later, there's a couple of antenna ports, and inside of the cables and accessories, you have two antennas, and you got a black ethernet cable. And what we want to do, step one, is screw these antennas on. If we don't screw them on right now, and we need them in the future, they'll sure be lost. Okay, we'll zoom in on the ports. Okay, let's start with the back of the device. I have attached the LTE antennas. Even if you're not going to use them, please put them on there so you don't lose them. SIM slot, a whole bunch of Ethernet ports, and a power port. And we're only going to be concerned with the WAN 1 port, these LAN ports, and this power port on the back. Let's zoom to the front. Okay, on the front of the U110, there's a lot of LEDs on the front, some more over here. But we're only going to be concerned with three of them. The power, the online, and the VPN light. Let's go ahead and install this device. Okay, two steps to making this router connect to the corporate network. Step one, let's plug in the power. And you'll notice the power connector is keyed. On the top, there's a little tab, and you'll notice that in there. So just plug that in appropriately. You'll see the LEDs light up. The only other thing we have to do is plug the internet into WAN number one. Not two, WAN one. So we'll plug that in, and let's see what the LEDs look like on the front. Okay, so if you look on the front, there's power, online, and VPN. We need all three of those LEDs lit to make sure we're connected. I just plugged it in. The online light came on very quick. The VPN light will follow. As soon as all three of those are lit, you're connected to the corporate network. Now remember, this is now a secure device. Don't plug anything into this that's your Xbox or anything else. You just want to plug in corporate assets because this will have connectivity to the corporate network. And again, Xbox and other things won't work on that network anyway. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.